This is the case of a 55 years old male patient that presents with this very large tumor mass compatible with a glioblastoma located in the medial temporal lobe, parahippocampal gyrus, left sided, extending towards the occipital temporal gyrus, and all the way anteriorly into the posterior aspect of the uncus and the hippocampal head. We have performed a posterior temporal craniotomy and an approach to the posterior aspect of the inferior temporal sulcus. We work our way into the tumor and we observe that this, this is a very vascularized tumor. We use the bipolar to coagulate the surface of the tumor. And here we start dissecting the tumor away from the superficial white matter of the lateral aspect of the temporal lobe. We find here the chorid plexus and this is the key landmark for our operation. We want to keep the chorid plexus with the brain and separate the tumor away from the chorid plexus. Once we expose abnormal tumor we continue or the bulking of tumor with the ultrasonic aspirator. We keep following the chorid plexus within the ventricle to the anterior aspect of the temporal horn. This defines better the tumor mass that has to be resected. We are working now anteriorly resecting the tumor with the ultrasonic aspirator. We see one of the PCA branches that we are now using the Doppler to map but this is clearly a large inferior temporal artery that is feeding the tumor and has to be transected. We continue our resection of the tumor anteriorly towards the hippocampal head and anterior aspect of the temporal horn. Now we are defining the posterior aspect of the tumor that is actually at the floor of the atrium now. This is an ependymal vein. This is the body of the hippocampus that is completely infiltrated by tumor. We are now debulking the tumor that is within the body of the hippocampus. Our goal is to continue debulking the tumor until we can find the choroidal fissure. And here we can see where the choroid plexus is located. We try to work again on the tumor side of the choroid plexus or the hippocampal side of the, of the choroid plexus. And here we start finding or choroidal fissure, the pad is protecting the brainstem. We dissect the choroidal fissure, being careful with the perforating branches from the posterior cerebral arteries. The brainstem again is being protected by the paddy. We try to preserve the uh, arachnoid of the ambient system to protect the vessels there. And now where we when we have defined the location of the brainstem, we can continue with the bulking of tumor on the hippocampal area. Again, significant bleeding of a tumor vessels. Again, this is a GBM and therefore a very vascularized tumor. We see again our brainstem interface with the tumor. And our goal is to debulk the tumor all the way until there is only a thin layer of arachnoid left at the level of the brainstem. We are now at the level of the dented gyrus where the vascular supply to the hippocampus is entering. So we perform careful coagulation at this level transection of the uh, coagulated tumor. And now we continue peeing away tumor from the brainstem area and from the cistern. That's choroid plexus. We want to keep that attached to the brain. And this is posterior extension of the choroid plexus
with tumor attached to it. This allows us to define the posterior extension of the tumor. We keep coagulating tumor and the bulking tumor carefully. We continue here seeing the interface with the brainstem and the extension of the tumor posteriorly towards the atrium. We keep coagulating the area of the dented gyrus where the supply to the tumor is coming from. And we aim at the bulk in all this area towards the brainstem interface. You can see here the vascular supply coming from the middle aspect into the tumor. And we keep working our way towards the posterior aspect of the tumor that extends to the area of the atrium. And here is at the end of the resection, we can see the tentorium. It's a near total resection of this tumor. The ventricle is completely open, so we place a drain to prevent post-operative collection of blood in, inside the ventricles. And here you can see the post-operative view with a near total resection of this tumor with a good preservation of the surrounding uh, normal brain. The patient did well from surgery with a stable quadrantonopsia defect and mild speech deficits as he presented preoperatively.